you searching for lunch in the garden all right that's, that's lunch in the garden i'm so excited anytime i have someone in the studios to talk to i'm so excited um we put out a promo um, out there that we're going to talk about immigration issues uh, pertaining to green card holders and those of you who are going to apply for green card, what you have to look out for in this day and age. So with me in the studios today, COP Radio, I have Athani Chris Ansa. Finally, he's here with me. Welcome. Thank you. So um, in, in a nutshell, what do you do as an attorney? I'm as an attorney. I have um, a general practice. Um, which is large immigration, largely immigration based. Uh, I do criminal defense. I do a, a little bit of litigation. I'm outside of criminal defense as well. Uh, de dealing with accident cases, dealing with uh, personal injury cases, credit card defense, and um, a whole lot of things. But it's largely immigration based. Okay, so you 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 like doing immigration? You have passion for that? Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. What I, puts you into that? Is it concern about people? Is it how people were suffering that he, he decided to, you know, get himself more into immigration. That is very interesting because I remember when I was in law school, I did not want to have anything to do with immigration. <laughs> yes, but the point is that when you come out of law school and you begin to practice law and then you understand where you find yourself as, as an immigrant, myself from Ghana, uh, you understand that um, your, your, your duty or your call to the profession is not just to just come in and then make money, but to also try and help people um, uh, who find themselves within the same condition as you uh, find find their, their feet in the system. So, yeah, it's, it's a call. I didn't like it, but a responsibility. Oh, um, but I have to okay. take it. Yeah, Do you have so. anything to say before we, we, we get into the real detail that people will not take it out if it is like, a, you know? Um, yes, um, I, I just want your viewers to understand that. The discussion we, we, we have here it's, it's just a discussion about okay. about um, uh, some of the some of some of the issues that they have to look out for regarding immigration mm. and it's not legal advice and that's, that that pertains to their specific cases and so if you have a case if you if you if you are in, you find yourself in an immigration a point to immigration confusion please kindly talk to an attorney. Um, you can you can speak to your attorney, or you can reach out to to us at the Ansa Law Firm, and then we'll be willing to to help you and work with you and um, throughout the process. Okay, so this is Lunch and the Guy I'm here with the studio with um, attorney Chris Ansa. I'll put his information out there so you can reach out to him and get more facts from them. Now let's get into green card. Right. Basically, what is it? Um, a green card. The green card is a card that is issued to. Um, people of some status in the U.S., those who have come, who have been admitted into the U.S. to stay here permanently, mm. or to make those who want the U.S. to be their permanent home. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, that is the card. It's have the, the American dream. To, yes. <laughs> if you want to have the American dream, you want to, you want the U.S. to be your permanent home, the green card will be the card that you have to issue mm -hmm. um, uh, to whoever may require, whoever may, may need as, as their status. Yes, okay. that is the card issue. Today. So how do you how do you get it? You you if you want to stay in permanently, so how do you get a green card? Um, what are what are they? You know how do you get it? Yes, you you can get it through um, diverse ways, and it, that is very it's, it's, it's a very tough question because it it, it also includes where you find yourself. It depends on where you find yourself. And people, if you're already in the system, um, you could get it through employment. You could um, you could get it through your spouse if you're married and you are here and you don't you do not have any you you, you you are not good you could get it through your spouse. Um, apart from that, people have gotten it through other special circumstances through abuse. If mm. a U.S. citizen person abused you in a way, if you married and your spouse abused you, there's also a way for you to do that. Okay. There are also other other ways, um, including um, religious ways. Um, uh, there are if you're outside. You could also get it through these means. Um, apart from that, uh, people who are refugees, people who are asylees, um, are also offered the chance to become U.S. permanent residents. Permanent residents. Sorry. Yes, and and people have gotten it through through these means. And let me just put it out there that okay. if you have been in the U.S. for um, since 1972 mm -hmm. and you still do not have a green card, you can just apply. You get it. Well, then that's good news. Then yeah, but that's yeah, good news. That's a long time. That's that's information and people doesn't know. 
So 19, you said 1970? It has been here since 1972. 1972? Yes, and you okay. do not have a green card, you could apply. Straight up, no no conditions attached, no strings attached, you get it. Well, definitely you may, you have to um, go through the your, process. The process, you know. take your fingerprints and all that, but you green cards will be issued to people like that. But there are also special conditions that um, that will also give you can go through to get a green card. And um, uh, sometimes the, the US government actually carve ways in response to certain situations in certain countries, um, as, for instance, in the, the case of Cuba, in the uh, in the sixties and the seventies, there, there was there was something that was put out to ensure that Cubans who managed to get into the U.S. Um, were given um, a green card. And so, okay. depending on the situations that happens across the world, mm. um, there there are ways where they, they, they issue they, that they, permanent they, they, they residency issue, cards yeah. to, to. And I forgot to mention. Um, uh, that people can also get it through the, the DV visa. Although no, the that, lottery. Um, the okay. current president has, has also expressed um, this interest <laughs> in how it is run, but um, it's, still, it's still available. It's available. Okay. Yeah. So let's look at somebody who has the green card. Yeah, I know it was white, it's brown, nice green. If you have the green card, right. what, what are your benefits? Let's look at the benefits of a green card holder. Right. And I think the first benefit of the green card holder is embedded in the first answer that I gave you regarding what the green card holder is. You get a chance to live here permanently. Permanently. Yes. And that is, that is how it is. You get a chance to live here permanently. But um, the green card, um, as we go on, you, you also discover that although it grants you the chance to live here permanently, it, it, it's not permanent. Mm. And we'll, I'm, I'm sure we'll, we'll, we'll look at so that. The, the first benefit is that it gives you, it affords you the opportunity to live in the U.S. permanently. permanently. Okay. And that is very important. And apart from that, um, uh, living here permanently, um, it also gives you the, um, the other privileges where you're able to apply for jobs and then work. You could also um, uh, file for your family members to also acquire the green the card status. So a green card holder can also file for an immediate family member who is not in the United States to also get yeah. a green card. Yes, you, you are able to do that. The only thing is that the process takes a little longer mm -hmm. um, as compared to the citizens of the U.S. Okay, yeah. so let's look at the don'ts of a green card holder. What are the conditions attached to it? What are some of the things that you can do as a green card holder? Yes, that is very important. Um, and the reason why it's very important is that most of the time, and even in these days, when you get into the removal proceedings or immigration courts, there are so many people who have found themselves in, in uh, removal proceedings. And removal proceedings are proceedings that are held to get someone deported or get someone removed from the US. Okay. Most of these people these days who find themselves in these proceedings are green card holders, mm. and th that is very important. Why is it so? And it's it's so because people likely do not have um, they do not have information. They, wow. they, yeah, most people have they believe that once you get a green card, you are good. Everything good, goes. Everything you can just good. do whatever you mm. want in the U.S. and and it's very important that people understand that okay. it's not really like that. Um, the don'ts of the U.S. Uh, of of green someone card. who has a green card, uh, a green card. <clears throat> First, very important, you should not go around professing that you're a United States citizen. Mm. They do not like that. It's, it's very, very bad, and it's what is committed. It's, it's seen as one of the one of the great sins against the green card holder <laughs> to go out and profess yourself in any situation that you are a United a States United citizen, citizen when while you are not. Very, very important. And another thing that green card holders should watch out for is the fact that they are not required, they are not allowed to vote. To vote. You cannot vote in any United States elections. And uh, just to put it out there, not long ago, there was a lady who was prosecuted wow. for years and jailed um, almost seven years, somewhere in Florida or so, for voting in the U.S. With a green card. Yes. And the bad thing is that this person would not only spend time in jail, but there's also a likelihood that immediately he's released, he or she will be will be deported or removed out of, out of the country because now the the crime the person committed has been dealt with now after facing the consequences okay. of your crime you now begin to face <coughs> the immigration consequences mm. of, of that crime and so you have to watch it out you're not supposed to vote in u.s elections you have to take note of that and three you also have to 
know that you cannot be a jury. I mean, and this is very, people likely find themselves in this situation. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes you are there and then you, you receive, you receive, a, a, you receive a mail, notice, a mail yeah. telling you that, hey, you're supposed to be on a jury duty. You have to contact the court immediately and let them know that, hey, I do not qualify to do this. Um, because they, they pull these out from mostly um, your driver's license. Oh, okay. Yeah, that is where the, that is the database they use. So mm -hmm. it is your responsibility to let them know that hey, I do not fall within the category. That category of, of getting to jury. Who, yeah, who, who 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 do that? And that is not that that is not the only. These are not the only things. And um, there are other, other other things that could also get into trouble. Mm -hmm. And that could and that also includes staying outside the country for some time. Mm -hmm. Right. If you spend more than six more months, than six months. Yeah, outside the country. Um, you could put yourself in jeopardy. It could be classified mm. as abandonment. And when it extends to a year without notice, then that is that is more pro you problematic. You abandon the, the rights that they gave you as permanent resident. Absolutely. That is more problematic <clears throat> for those who have stayed more than six months. Mm. And so if you begin to travel back and forth, you have to be mindful of the fact that you have committed yourself to the U.S. government, that you'll be living here permanently, <laughs> and so you cannot So in, in that case, if, if you have that green card and you want to travel in and out, do you have to report yourself? Is there a procedure that, oh, um, within six months, I'll be out three months, I'll be out four months? Is there any way that you can work out? You know, people can't stay in for six months. They have businesses doing in their home countries. Is there a way that it helps to report to the authorities? Um, normally or generally, when you are living out of the country, you are not required to do that. To do that. Um, when you are out of the country and you become aware, or when you are living, you are aware that you you overspend the time. Mm. You have to be able to. There is a form that you file. You have to file a form to to DHS, um, Department of Homeland Security, informing them that uh, because of the conditions you find yourself, you'll be able to. You will stay outside of, of the of for the, a certain of, amount for, of for time. For okay. Period of time. Yeah. That has to be granted. Yeah. And as you stay there, uh, there is also as you as you stay outside, you still have to be able to stay in and do the things that you're supposed to do as a as a mm. United States um, uh, permanent resident. That include filing your taxes. Okay. And yeah, as you keep on as you maintain doing that, and uh, the issue of abandonment becomes becomes moot and it becomes very relevant. At, at that okay. Point. Yeah. Let's let's switch on to somebody who is in the country already and trying to go through the process of getting a green card. What are the, the 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 warning signs that you want to give out um, yeah, as, a, there, as an attorney? Right, if you there, want to add something there, are, to there are things that I, I had to <clears throat> add regarding the, the don'ts. Okay. It's very important. There are certain benefits that um, you cannot apply for mm. as a green card holder, and you should not apply. You should not lie for those benefits. You cannot help someone to get into the U.S. illegal. Let me just mention them so that we go. Okay. You cannot mention. You cannot pull in someone here, help someone to get into the U.S. illegally. Mm. And most important thing, you cannot be charged or be convicted of certain crimes. Mm. And the moment I put charge, I mean, just being charged with a crime doesn't establish guilt. But sometimes when you're charged with a very terrible crime, I mean, a very dangerous crime, you could be in immigration detention and you have to fight your way up. But when you're convicted of a crime that, um, that will punish you at least a year in jail, then it could... Um, have a significant impact on immigration mm -hmm. status. Oh, okay. Apart from that, the U.S. Um, the U.S. immigration laws also describe certain laws, um, certain crimes, and they call aggravated felonies. And regardless of where you find yourself, when you engage in these aggravated felonies, you could be you could be um, subjected to removal as a green card holder. Mm -hmm. And the fact that the term aggravated felonies are used does not mean that. The crime you actually committed had to be a felony, because mm -hmm. the crimes differ in Deep jurisdictions. Right. Okay. Each state is different. Each state has their own laws, mm -hmm. their own criminal laws, and so a crime could be a misdemeanor in New York, okay. but based on the definition of the federal aggravated felony, it could be an aggravated felony, and it could subject you outside of the country. Outside of the country. Yes, and so people wow. should be mindful of that. That especially when you find yourself in a criminal proceeding, taking plea deals. Very, 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 very consequential. Don't take a plea deal that will, uh, that will, that will just, that will give you a probation on a crime that can punish you in the U.S. Um, for a jail time of a year or more. That is very bad. 
it, it, it will put you back in the immigration the immigration court system and th that wouldn't be that wouldn't be good. Oh, okay yeah. be before we go to um, those who are trying to look into getting um, a green cards if you have a green card and the police pull you over do you have to panic um, definitely not. Um, it, I, I don't see why you should be panic when, when you have a green card. <laughs> yeah, I, I really don't see Un unless 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 you are being unless you you had in some whatever you were doing was so terrible. You know, uh, you unless you are not trying to, you are not racing on the road. I mean, doing something bad because all these pullover stuff, all these things that are tied to, they all have. Um, uh, consequences mm. and so whatever you do you just want to be mindful of the fact that the consequences of those actions will not lead you to to um, uh, to the um, uh, the immigration bad areas that, okay. that, that will make it very difficult for you but if you if a police officer pulls you over you should be fine they, they did knock on your door at home open uh, open them up you don't have anything to hide you have a green card I know I think in a year or two you know, there was this rumor going around that people are knocking on people's doors and checking on their green cards and taking people out and most Africans were you know were afraid you okay. know so that's that's why I, I, I oh, put that okay. question. Um, no, so. no, I have to reiterate that um, uh, those who have green cards have rights even mm -hmm. those who do not have green cards they have rights yeah. anyone who finds he, um, uh, himself or herself on the United in the United States on the soil of this country has rights and these rights you know there are some basic rights mm. that are protected by by, by, by the, the constitution, constitution. yeah the constitution mm -hmm. and so those are there regarding people coming coming to your homes and all that um these rights also come into play yeah okay. listen you are not you are not required you're not required to let people into your homes without warrants mm -hmm. and um, uh, yeah, without search warrants without arrest warrants you are not required to let them into your home and so Police officers could knock, at, uh, could knock at your door, you open, they tell they want to come in, you can say no. Because, just, let me just remind people, subjecting, your, subjecting yourself or putting yourself in that state could also even lead to criminal charges against you. Mm. Should a police officer come knocking at your door, you open the door mm. for the person, and the person comes and then you have, you live in a state where, um, let me just say, Probably, probably marijuana is, 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 is really, yeah, it's mm. really, it's really, it's, 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 it has been criminalized, and there is marijuana in the open space because you have allowed the police officer to come mm. in. The person can actually see it and press charges against you, and so I mean, you are not required to do it. You may want to do it. Mm. I mean, if you are fine, yes, but um, I, I really do not advise people to put themselves in that condition. You could actually talk to them. And then, um, uh, okay. whatever, yeah. but if they want to come in and look at stuff, such they must always show something. Some, yeah. uh, you know, search warrants and all yeah, that. They okay. have to show something. All right, thank you. So this is lunch in the garden with um, attorney Chris and son. Let's look at our, our final question and then we'll wrap it up for today. This is going to be a series of talks on immigration issues and you know issues about legal stuff. We want to know get the right information out there. Somebody going through the process of getting a green card. Let's look at the red flags. What are some of the things that you don't have to do? Wow. So let me let me let me also try and put an advice out there. Put it. Um, uh, I think that it's becoming the most popular way of getting a green card. First, has become um, through the family base, and most mm -hmm. of people use it. People use their spouses, and um, I I believe that because of, uh, I mean. I wouldn't say people are doing it for that, but people have found themselves in a very compromising situations, very very bad relationships just because of uh, my immigration benefits. Mm -hmm. You know, initially I put it out there that, uh, hey, if you are being abused, if you cannot be, in a, you, you should not be in a in an abusive relationship just because you think that um, you stand the chance of just be, just because of your status. Mm -hmm. If if your spouse is abusing you because the person is filing a green card for you. Okay, reach out to your lawyer. I mean, talk to talk to an attorney. You could there, there could be ways for you to actually get green card. And I also want people to understand that people should not have the kind of mentality that getting the green card. I mean, it's only through marriage. Mar true, yeah, true, true. The family, family base. base. Yeah, okay. there are there are there are so many ways. Employment base. I mean, um, as 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 we know, I'm sure you know about the unemployment base, mm -hmm. um, a green card that are issued to people. The people, EB five, right? Ab five for investors. If you have yeah. if you have a lot of money, 
If you have over $500,000 or $1 mm -hmm. million dollars you want to invest in the country, you could get a green card, you could get a green card for your family members. If you are in, if you, if you, if you are one person who is an extraordinary, who has extraordinary ability, I mean, um, those are people who find themselves in the EB1 category, people in research and, and people, uh, people uh, who are professors, mm. all these, there are so many ways We've that seen. you could, you could get mm. a green card. And so, you always, it's we don't have to important. restrict ourselves to the family right. setting. Right. You, it's always important to actually open up, talk to an immigration attorney, tell the person your situation, describe, let the person know, give the person a total picture, a whole picture of whatever you find yourself in. It will give the person an idea what um, what kind of um, uh, benefit or how you should, I mean, the, the best way to actually get through, get through and get the benefit. It's very, very important and it's very, 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 very it, people must know because most of the time people just come in and then they, they get themselves caught up in certain mm. bad relationships, certain conditions, and people are being abused, their monies are taken, people are being hit. Um, so badly just because of these issues and I think that people have to be mindful of, of, of these things and apart from that uh, and going back to your question what pe what what are people not supposed to do mm. and the same everything that we, we listed for those who hold green cards you're not supposed to those are things you're not, you're not supposed to do all of them you don't have to even get all close to it right, <laughs> don't, don't get close I mean don't get yourself in, in criminal activities or criminal acts don't commit crimes if you commit crimes it could affect it could have the an process. impact what mm. you, it could even have an impact whether you get it or not, or you, not. it could you, it, your impact your your process could truncate very easily mm. it could just it could just cease don't don't help people illegally I mean there's so many things that you do and everything that we've said within the category of the green card holders will apply to those who are actually now trying to get the benefits don't don't commit crimes don't be don't 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 pose as a US citizen if you're mm. not. Don't be don't, don't be get applied. to the polls that you right. want to vote. If you find yourself in the United States. If you find yourself outside the United States, there are certain things you should not do. You should they will not want to give green cards to people who are criminals in their country mm. because they are trying to they are trying to hold it's a something that they are trying to deal mm -hmm. with here. Mm -hmm. And so you do not want to get yourself in that in that state too. So it's 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 all those things matter in the process okay. when, you're, when you're going through the process okay yeah. well attorney chris i believe we have to end it here and okay. then we will do a second um segment um, sometime as your office opens up to us and then we'll, right. we'll just have to pull you in then we'll continue from the process um other areas that you can go through and get your green card and if you are here illegally what are some of the things that you can also do uh, the don'ts and all that so Thank you for coming into lunch. Uh, it's unfortunate that there's no food on the decks, but um, this is how we do lunch in the garden on COP right, right here. Right, thank you. Uh, thank you for coming in. All right. Bye.